pieces gave it to him. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out George Wallace. I've been thinking. I have no clue who George Wallace is, but I love old school comedy. So I really hope I love this. Let's go. Good. Let me ask you young people a question. Where y'all come up with all these new diseases y'all got? <laughs> young people got new, they got acid reflux and compulsive shopping, <laughs> compulsive shopping. You're a thief, that's what you are. <laughs> Tell them baby boomers, we grew, yeah, you know, only we grew up, we had three diseases, didn't we? We had the measles, the mumps, and the chicken pox. That's all we could afford. <laughs> now you got the new, they got another disease called ADD. Y'all heard about that one? ADHD. Tell these young kids we grew up, ADD ain't nothing a good ass whooping couldn't cure. <laughs> Do you know what? That's what I've noticed. It depends what home you grew up in. Literally, if you grew up in an African household, you can't afford to be, you know, saying, I have this, I have that. They'll be like, there's bigger things to worry about. That's what, that's in my experience anyway. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure about other people's traditions. But in my experience, you just can't say, yeah, I'm this, I'm that. Or maybe things have changed since when I was young. I'm in my late 20s now, so I'm guessing things have changed. ADD, these are just cold letters that the doctor came up with. The doctor couldn't come around and say, Miss Brown, your child's a fool. Because <laughs> that wouldn't be good for business. Any doctors in here? Any doctors in here? Two, three doctors back there? Everybody working in the medical industry, raise your hands. All of you need your ass kicked. <laughs> Everybody here want to know, doctor, why do we have a 10 o'clock appointment to see you doctors? We don't get to see the 11, 15, 11, 30, 11, 45. Thank you. Then they walk out and ask you, what's the problem? The problem I've been waiting on your ass for an hour and a half. <laughs> then they walk by you, be patient, be patient. That's how they came up with the name. <laughs> Everybody in the middle, even people work at the drugstore. Had to go in the drugstore yesterday and get some, my foot is hurting. Had to get some Dr. Shaw products. Mm. And they got it all the way in the back of the store. Wow. Put that stuff up at the front of the store with the pins and condoms and, and <laughs> people need KY jelly. People in a hurry, got to go. <laughs> they got a commercial in Los Angeles, environmentalists, ecologists, they're concerned about SUVs consuming too much energy. And their slogan is, what would Jesus drive? <laughs> Have you heard about that one? What would Jesus drive? And you know me, I be thinking. That's true, what would Jesus drive? I'm guessing something classy, some kind of pickup truck, I'm guessing. Let me know. What do you guys think? Let's see what he's going to say. Jesus would drive a Honda. Jesus would drive a Honda. If you read your Bibles, Why? Acts 2 and 1 says, we shall all be in one accord. Oh! <laughs> On that court. <laughs> Commercials make me sick. So much stuff like me. You know what makes me sick? People saying stupid stuff. Mm. I got off the airplane today, a man said to me, my wife gonna die when I tell her I saw you. <laughs> I said, well, don't tell her. <laughs> Why do people say stupid stuff? <laughs> I'm on the airplane, a man. That's so true, that's so stupid. Why do you have to go to that extent? Just say, oh my God, she's gonna be shocked. Why do you have to say she's gonna die? Why? That is so true. People say some damn stuff, man. And sitting next to me, you going all the way? <laughs> what? I said, I hope like hell I'm going all the way. I didn't buy no halfway ticket. I'll be thinking to myself, how come they got 18 handicapped parking spaces at the Home Depot? Yeah, I said it. I talk about everybody, I ain't scared. My best friend in Los Angeles, he's in a wheelchair. He's been pleading with me for years. Please write a joke about us. We want to be talked about too. Don't feel sorry for us. You talk about everybody else. We want to be included too. I told him, okay. I told mm -hmm. him I'm pissed off at the government for spending $100,000 per bus to have a wider door and an elevator lift their ass up on the bus. <laughs> I be thinking, how about a rope? <laughs> Give Bro. a rope, hook ass up to the back of the bus. Bro. When you get where they're going, let go! He said, that's good. I said, oh, I'm not true. You got me started. I'm mm -hmm. not true. 18 handicapped parking spaces at the home. When the last time you seen somebody at Home Depot on a wheelchair, uh, give me three sheets of that plywood up there and a bucket of nails. <laughs> I be thinking. And I've been thinking since I was 15 years old. I had a curfew. Couldn't make it home before midnight. I was thinking, you know what I would do? I'd call my mom on the telephone. She'd pick it up. Hello? I said, ah, oh, it's okay, Ma. I got it. <laughs> Oh. These stores are 
drive me crazy. I swear he did there. So he pick up to, to make his mom think he's at home because he, he, he should get it. He should get it. I don't know how to explain it. If you don't get it, then you don't understand. Sorry. Did you read in the paper, Costco? They're now selling caskets, coffins. What? Did you read that in the paper? Coffins. You go into Costco, give me a jar of dill pickles and a case of the aluminum fall and, and grandma, she not feeling too good. <laughs> Wow. Give me that blue casket up there. <laughs> Only trouble is you got to buy 12 of them to get a good deal. Let's say you like peanut butter. Let's say you like, you really, 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 really like, you like peanut butter so much you like to stick your whole head in the jar. Mm. I bought a bag of marshmallow. I use it as a mattress when my friends come over to visit me. <laughs> These stores are driving me crazy. We got another store called Ikea. You got that in Canada? Ikea, Ikea. Ikea, I don't know what it is with this store. Scandinavian furniture, whatever, Swedish, I go in there, I see a nice little table I wanted, I told the salesperson, I like to have that desk. He said, sir, I'll go in the back and get it. I said, no, this one's good, right here. <laughs> he said, no, sir, you have to put it together, you got to send me, you got to put it together yourself. I said, no, I'll take this sample on the floor. He said, sir, you got to put it together. <laughs> then he rung it up, I wrote him a check, ripped it up into a thousand pieces, gave it to him. <laughs> put it together. Brilliant, brilliant. These stores are crazy. Home Depot. Anybody here working at Home Depot? Does anybody here working at Does anybody in here work at Home Depot? <laughs> I feel like I'm in a real damn store. <laughs> get that. All these people in here, nobody work here. <laughs> but you know me, I be thinking. thinking. I went down to Home Depot, couldn't find nobody to help me. I bought my own orange apron. <laughs> Took wow. a magic marker, wrote my name up there, walking there every day with a wheelbarrow, loaded up with stuff, and walk right out the damn wow. door. Because I be thinking. Montreal! Just for last! Just for last! Mm. Wow, that was actually good. For the first time reacting to him, it's very, you can tell it's very old school. I feel like that Patrice O'Neill kind of vibe. Yeah, not just not caring about what they say, just enjoying themselves. That's what comedy is about. If you like that, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe. Let me know anything you want me to react to and I'll try to react to it. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.